Whether you're new to Disney World or you're a die-hard, go-every-year and sometimes every month and sometimes every day Disney fan, I'm gonna bet there are at least 10 of these that you've never heard of or at least you've never actually done. Here are 13 really cool things in Disney World that you're not doing, but you should be. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and if your Disney trip is already crammed full of attractions, restaurants, and experiences, and you don't have a second to spare, we get it, and good for you for planning so thoroughly. But if you do have some spare time in Disney World, we've got a few recommendations that we think you're really gonna love, or at the very least, you need to know about them. There are some brand new and some under the radar experiences that people just don't seem to know exist in Disney World, and they are so, so fun, so let's take a look. First up, the Void Virtual Reality Experience. This is one of the coolest things I think a lot of people don't know anything about. I actually just did it for the first time about a month ago, and it is super incredible. It uses the latest virtual reality technology to create virtual reality that relies on haptics, a helmet-mounted VR display, and lots of motion sensors to totally immerse you into the storyline. So you and up to three other people get a backpack which houses all the tech and your headset, and then it becomes almost like an escape room type deal where you're actually Actually walking around physical rooms. The Void has been around at Disney since 2017, and you'll find it in both Downtown Disney and Disneyland, and in Disney Springs at Walt Disney World, along with several cities around the US and Canada. And in both Disneyland and Disney World, they have Star Wars Secrets of the Empire, which takes place during Rogue One. And in Disney World, they also have Ralph Breaks Virtual Reality, where you enter the world of Wreck-It Ralph. Also in Disneyland right now, they have the brand new Avengers Experience, and that's the one that I got the chance to do. It's so cool. Honestly, I gotta tell you, I wasn't really excited about it. I knew it was there. People on the DFB team had done it and really liked it, but I never really cared much to do it. And so a friend of mine actually sort of forced me to go. It was such a blast. We had so much fun. So even if you don't think you're the VR type, you can probably still have a lot of fun doing this and I can highly recommend it because I'm probably the opposite of someone who would normally like that sort of thing, but I loved it. So the whole thing is a little short, maybe about 15 minutes, but if you're a fan of any of those films, if you're a fan of Star Wars, Avengers, Wreck-It Ralph, then this is probably gonna be a must do for you. So prices are about 35 to $40 per person and you can usually walk up and get right in, but you can also book online ahead of time. And when we were there, the line was a little bit long, so I would recommend booking ahead for sure. Okay, next really cool thing that you're not doing, but you should be, making your own scarf. This one's really fun if you're looking for a unique souvenir, especially now that you're looking for cool Christmas gifts maybe, stuff like that. This is gonna be awesome because it's totally unique. It's down in Disney Springs at the Art Corner. And this thing just popped up earlier this year, so. A lot of people don't even know it's there. And the technique is called artistic marbling and you will actually get to pick out a scarf or photo mat, pick your colors, and you get to make the design. It's done by dropping different colors of paint into a water-based solution, creating a pattern by dragging the paint around, and then you drop your silk scarf on top to copy the print onto the fabric. Now a head scarf is $39 and two smaller scarves or one large one are 49. You can also do this with ornaments right now here in the holiday season, so that's really cool. Gift maybe for the grandmas if the kiddo decides to, you know, marble a couple of ornaments. That could be perfect Christmas gifts. Okay, next thing that's really cool and a lot of people aren't doing, making your own snack. So crispy treats and caramel apples, pretzel rods all over Walt Disney World, but you don't have to settle for what's in the bakery case. If you head to Goofy's Candy Company and Disney Springs, you can actually customize your very own treat. The steps are simple. Fill out an order form, hand it to the cast member at the counter, and then wait. And here's the ordering sheet, which shows off quite clearly the many, many sugary and some salty choices. Your bases include that caramel apple, marshmallow wands, gingerbread Mickey cookies, and Mickey crisp cereal rice treat, AKA the crispy treat. Dipping flavors include white milk or dark chocolate and drizzle options are the same, but the toppings are where it gets really fun because there are currently 12 options. One topping is included in the price, but you can add more toppings to the tune of a dollar extra per additional topping. And these include sprinkles, mini M&Ms, peanut butter chips, chopped peanuts, sliced almonds, cinnamon and sugar, dark and white chocolate chips, crushed Oreo cookie crumbs, crushed butterfingers, coconut and graham cracker crumbs. Apples are $10.99, crispy treats are $5.49, marshmallows and gingerbread cookies are $4.99, and all of those three are Disney Dining Plan snack credit eligible. Note, however, that they have changed the pricing here. It used to be way back in the day that you'd get both sides of your treat customized for the same price. Now you have to pay an extra dollar to get the other side customized. 
Next thing that's super cool that you're not doing but you should be is the classic, this is like the classic carnival souvenir, the silhouette art. They still do this in Disney, you guys, and I love it. We used to do this when I was a kid. It's another awesome, low cost, classic souvenir. A lot of people just walk right past without even noticing and don't realize that it's actually taking place. So you'll find silhouette artists in Disney Springs as well as in Magic Kingdom on Main Street and near Sleepy Hollow and in Epcot in the France Pavilion. For a single person silhouette, expect to spend about $10 and add another $10 if you'd like to purchase a frame. Super inexpensive, super unique. I just love this and not many people are doing it. And again, it's not that fast. This is an easy souvenir to create as you're waiting for your next fast pass to open up. The artists complete this in about 60 seconds and then you'll have that timeless piece of art to remember your trip. Okay, this one's really fun and brand new. Building your own custom Lego at the Lego store. So the minifigure factory is brand new over there at Disney Springs. And your own customized minifig, only $11.99. So they're a pretty good deal as far as Disney World souvenirs go. There are touch screens at the factory center in the store where you get to customize and accessorize your own Lego figurine. There are different shirt designs. You can even draw your own design. And while your design is being printed, you can pick out heads, legs, and other accessories like hats and wigs. So you can create your own little minifig family for you guys. And it's just so cute and so much fun. And again, nobody knows about it, so you gotta go do it. All right, next thing that's super cool and not a lot of people know about it, the super limited time holiday tours. Disney World has some amazing tours, as you know, we've talked about them on the channel before, that take you behind the scenes to see animals at the Animal Kingdom or the train yard in Magic Kingdom. There's so many to pick from, but there's one holiday tour that's only available for a super limited 12 night run each year. That Holiday Delights tour, it's a bit pricey, $2.89 per person, but it's so unique. And if you love the holidays at Disney, this tour is gonna get you behind the scenes in the Magic Kingdom and Epcot to see how they put all the holiday decor and shows together. The tour includes a family style barbecue at Whispering Canyon Cafe at Wilderness Lodge, so arrive early to check out their brand new gingerbread house over there, by the way. And you get to meet with designers to ask questions about the decor on Cinderella Castle, an exclusive viewing spot for the castle lighting, a reserved seat for the candlelight processional, and a reserved spot to view Epcot Forever, plus a limited edition pin. So this is great. You get to enjoy the holiday events at two parks, see all the backstage stuff, ask all the questions you want about how Disney decorates for the holidays. It's a really fun and unique tour. All right, next one, cocktail classes at Paddlefish. If you're a fan of the hands-on demos during Epcot's Food & Wine Festival, you definitely wanna check out Paddlefish to see if they're offering some of their cocktail classes. Now, these happen sporadically, maybe once every few months, and the classes are held on their rooftop deck, so you'll get to learn how to make a craft cocktail. They also offer wine tasting events with their in-house sommelier, and you can find details on the upcoming events on their website. We want to mention again those Disney resort activities, the resort fun runs and free yoga. Now I know maybe exercise isn't your top priority when you're at Disney World, when you're walking like 10 miles a day through the parks, but if you're an avid runner or you enjoy yoga, check out your resort activities guide to see if either event is happening while you're there. Those fun runs are typically short, a little over a mile, and cost about $15 to participate in, but you'll get some perks like at Port Orleans French Quarter, their beignet dash gets you three beignets once you finish. And you know, we might run for that. And many resorts offer free yoga on certain mornings. The mats are provided, but capacity is limited, so be sure to show up early. And we want to mention that karaoke at Kimonos. So much fun. Nobody knows it happens. And you're not expecting there to be a karaoke bar right next to Epcot, right? A sushi and karaoke bar. Kimonos at the Swan and Dolphin. It's actually at the Swan specifically. You can enjoy karaoke every single night. They also have amazing sushi here. It is handmade sushi. There's chefs right there. It's so good. Pretty consistently regarded as some of the best sushi at or around Disney World. And it's a really great date night spot too, just like the rest of Swan and Dolphin in the boardwalk area. There's a lot of really fun nightlife. But don't let that keep you from bringing the kids along. If they love sushi, head over to Kimonos. Note that the karaoke usually doesn't start until late evening. I think the times that I've been there, it hasn't started to sort of after 9, after 10 o'clock. So be aware of that. If you want to do karaoke, it's not going to be kind of like at 6 p.m. All right, let's talk about fishing. A lot of people don't expect to go fishing when they are in Walt Disney World, but there's actually lots of opportunities to go fishing in Disney World. It's seriously one of those things we forget about from time to time, because who expects to do that? But they do offer year-round bass fishing in Disney World. Both two and four hour excursions are offered, either with a guided fishing tour for up to five guests on a 21-foot pontoon boat, or a tournament-style excursion for two. You can also rent fishing gear from the Fish and Hole at Old Man Island at Disney's Port Orleans Resort, Riverside, for some dockside fishing, 
fishing. That's usually what you're going to want to do with the kids, most likely. Kids really enjoy doing that. And bass fishing is available pretty much anywhere there's water. So resorts around Seven Seas Lagoon, Bay Lake, along the Sasagula River by Disney Springs, along with Caribbean Beach Resort and the Yacht Club. Lots of the resorts do offer that bass fishing opportunity. All right, horseback riding. We haven't mentioned this on the channel in a long time. If you're looking for some more outdoorsy, non-Disney activities, head over to Fort Wilderness to try Circle D Ranch. Did you know there's a whole ranch on Disney World property? Fort Wilderness has so much going on, you guys. If you haven't been over there, you've got to check it out. So go to Tri Circle D and you can go horseback riding. 45 minute rides are $55 per person and you're not going to be like galloping around the Magic Kingdom, okay? This is through the woods. It's not even a trot. It's just <laughs> just walking. But if you've never been horseback riding or if your kids haven't ever been horseback riding, this is kind of a fun first time adventure. And remember, they also offer carriage and wagon rides along with pony rides over there at Fort Wilderness. You can take an old fashioned wagon ride. They leave from Pioneer Hall, which is where Hoop to Do review is. And rides are 25 minutes long, cost $12 for ages 10 plus and $8 for those three to nine. And next, we're going to talk about Amaret's cake decorating. So Amaret's in Disney Springs is known for super fancy high-end cakes and pastries. But something most people don't know is that they offer classes on how to make their classic dome cakes. These are beautiful, and it's so cool to learn how to make them. Classes are capped at 14 guests who will make either a classic Mickey dome cake or other characters picked by the artist on alternating days. The 90-minute classes are held nearly every day at 9 a.m. for $169 plus tax for up to two people decorating one cake. And all the participants must be 10 or older. The experience includes beverages like specialty coffee, bottled water, mimosas, and bellinis. And during the class, two cake artists walk you through the steps of decorating your very own dome cake, which involves painting and shaping fondant, so prepare to get artistic. And when it's all finished, you can add your name to the back or they'll write it for you and they'll pack it up for you to take home. This one is expensive. The Mickey dome cakes sell for about $55 in the shop, so you're paying a lot extra for the actual class. But it's a fun splurge if you're looking for a unique and special way to celebrate a special occasion. And finally, we want to mention the wonderful world of wines. The wonderful world of wines experience gives guests the opportunity to sample wines from amazing vineyards around California, Italy, France, Chile, Australia, and more. It's held at the Yacht Club at 3 p.m. on the second Wednesday of each month for $45 per person. Each event will have its own theme, and you'll get to sample four wines, which are all presented by Yachtsman Steakhouse's sommelier, Chris Soto, who does an awesome job. You'll also get a small charcuterie board to pair with your wines, and overall, it's a great way to spend an afternoon especially if you're doing like a girl's trip to Disney or something like that. Don't forget there are wine tastings at several other resorts as well. We always highly recommend the Jico wine tasting, which will introduce you to some amazing wines from South Africa. That's a great one to try as well. So if you happen to be staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, that's a must do. Although the Yacht Club wine experience is probably going to be a little more accessible for people because you could just come right out from Epcot to do it. All right, so there are 12 really, really fun, cool things in Disney World that you are not doing, I'm guessing. Was I right? Did you not know about at least 10 of these? Let me know in the comments. I wanna know which ones you guys knew about and which ones you guys are interested in potentially doing. Again, they're all really fun. And if you've got too much booked already, we totally understand if you can't do this stuff, but if you have some spare time or some free time and you wanna try something brand new, definitely let us know which ones you are up for. Thanks for listening, you guys, and thanks for watching. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.